peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. What's it like to astral project? This is literally one of the craziest feelings in my whole life. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Hands to the sky. Eyes wide unified. Many people, they'll say you hear the loud noise, the high frequency noise, and you get this buzzing sensation. And that's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> so I meditated for like a really long time. You got to meditate. You have to get really, really comfortable to astral project. You got to get comfy. And I'm saying you have to get really comfy because you're going to be laying or sitting, however you do it, for a while. And that's for most people and for me because it took a long, long, long time of laying down and meditating. So what I would do is I would get real comfy, relaxing each part of your body from your toes all the way up to your head. I meditated for a long, long, long time. I meditated for probably an hour. Is that really long for you? Well, that's a long time for me, long, an hour. And I would even meditate two hours even. After meditating for a long time, by just, for me, it was just focusing on my breath. That's all it really was. And I've even tried just focusing on the black, be like behind your eyelids, the blackness, the darkness. And other people do their own techniques, but I just meditated, focused on my breath, until I reached a point where all of a sudden, this is where you wanna reach. Your body gets real, real numb. Your whole body gets so numb. It's like, it's like sleep paralysis. I'm not sure if I was exactly in sleep paralysis because I can move if I wanted to, but you want to get to a point where your body feels super numb, really heavy. And then what happened to me was I started to feel this like slight buzzing, slight buzzing all around my body, on my body. It's just like this little buzzing, this electricity, this like vibrations all across my body and I kept focusing I kept meditating I didn't really think too much about it I just I tried to keep my awareness to my breathing and then I started hearing this like high-pitched sound like this really high-pitched sound and, like, and it was first like a little quiet and then it got louder and louder and louder and really loud. It got to a point where it was so loud. It got to a point where it was so loud. <laughs> so after I felt all these vibrations all over my body, then I, I actually switched my awareness, my focus to my pineal gland. I started really, because I could feel like there was pressure there. Like I could feel it. It was being activated. And so I figured let's keep focusing on the pineal gland. And I was really focusing on the pineal gland like a lot. And the vibrations kind of intensified. And then, and the more I would focus on my pineal gland, the, the louder this noise was getting, this frequency and this focus on my pineal gland was making the pressure build up on my pineal gland like so much. The pressure on my third eye was incredible. It was like in my previous video about how to activate the pineal gland. It was like an anvil was on my forehead. Like a very, very, very heavy weight was on my forehead in between my eyes right here. To learn how to get used to activating and stimulating your pineal gland, watch my previous video from last week. And so this pressure built up so so much and the frequency is getting so loud so so loud and it just feels like insane but I'm keeping my cool I'm keeping my cool <laughs> because you can't you can't get distracted you cannot get distracted if you get distracted and start thinking about other things or you get even like too excited then it can completely cease and it's sad because I've gotten to points where I was getting really close 
and it just faded away. Make sure you keep this focus and don't waver, don't waver. The pressure built up so much and the noise built up so much, the vibration built up so much and all of a sudden it felt like going down a roller coaster like not even it was way crazier than a roller coaster because you really feel like you're getting completely sucked out of your body and it is absolutely life-changing to even experience this and so and, and so I was sucked out of my body but I didn't see anything around me which was really weird it was like I was just in complete darkness, complete darkness, and I, I couldn't see anything, but I was like super hyper aware and conscious of what was happening, but nothing was really going on. I was like in this void, and I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know how to continue. I didn't know the next step to move out of this void, to move out of this darkness. So I stayed in this, I stayed in this void for a little bit. I was actually a little confused. And then all of a sudden I just woke up. I just woke up. So that's what, that's what happened to me. My first astral projection experience. You can try this out. If you've ever astral projected, please let me know below. And if you have some techniques for astral projecting, please let me know below because there's so many different techniques. There's so many different methods for astral projecting. I want to know what you do because I've tried so many different methods and I've failed a lot. You got to realize it took me a long time to actually get this far <laughs> where it was buzzing and the loud sound, but I've had multiple other experiences and I'll talk about that in another video. So this is how I actually projected my first time. This is how it all went down. I calmed my body, I, I relaxed, and I meditated for a long, long time. An hour, focused on my breath, and then when I started feeling the vibrations, I switched my focus, my awareness, to my pineal gland, and from there, that's just where it happened. So knowing how to stimulate and activate my pineal gland, how to focus on it, was really important for me. And so this is my video from last week on how to activate the pineal gland, the third eye. And this is a video on how to meditate because these two videos are extremely important for me at least for astral projecting. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.